race to find solutions during this pandemic has led to a new age of innovation. That includes products meant to help keep us safe from possibly risky things like touching our faces or door handles. Charlie Daggett reports on some of the inventions that could eventually become part of our lives. People so, touch their faces. All the time, all the time. People touch their face 23 times per hour. You know, it's an unconscious behavior that just happens. Stopping it from just happening is what Seattle-based designer Justin If had in mind with his vibrating bracelet, reducing the risk of the coronavirus entering the body through vulnerable points. So you, you basically calibrate, this is when I touch my eye, this is when I touch my nose, this is when I touch my mouth. And so when you do that in the future, it'll then vibrate the global pandemic and the challenges of a post-lockdown world have already inspired a slew of ideas, like dividing screens in restaurants, plexiglass cubicles for the beach, and mobile barriers on car assembly lines. How about a Chinese-designed antivirus bodysuit? Or this thermal imaging smart helmet recently deployed in Dubai, straight out of RoboCop on the hunt for people running a temperature, a symptom of COVID-19. Not all inventions need to be so eye-catching. In the world we now live in, every surface is a potential health hazard, especially door handles. One British inventor came up with this, and he's called it the hygiene hook. Pretty simple concept, really. Works like this. And like this and the idea was to make the lives of health workers easier if they change their gloves every time they're going to go and get a cup of coffee that's a hell of a lot of gloves just to maneuver around the hospital inventor steve brooks has already donated hundreds to hospital workers are we seeing new age of innovation now yes Definitely. An age not seen since the last truly global period of upheaval. To win this fight, we have undertaken the greatest national mobilization since World War II. World War II saw an explosion of inventions and innovations. Hitler's last terror weapon had Like long-range guided missiles, which helped launch the era of space exploration. We and we have liftoff at 2.13. The jet engine, which revolutionized commercial aviation. And radar. Revealed to the world after years of secrecy. Which came of age in the early 1940s. But that period also introduced the modern ballpoint pen and superglue everyday objects you'd find in your home today. And home is exactly where Justin Ith's idea started. I created it because, for personal reasons, my father is in his late 60s, and he has an autoimmune disease that makes him immunocompromised. We wanted to jump to action and protect people like my dad and all of our families around the world that are in that situation. Sometimes complicated situations call for simple solutions. One day we may wonder, how we lived without them. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, London. Really interesting stuff. It, it is fascinating how many times we touch our face, e even in an hour unconsciously, Tony. I, I like the idea of what the hygiene hook, he calls it, because the, the door opening thing is a, is a constant problem. Yeah, necessity it really is the mother of invention. And a couple things that weren't mentioned in that piece, but were also inventions from prior periods when innovation was necessary. The watch, the trench coat, uh, the weather forecast itself came out of, of military efforts in World War II. Uh, and I do like that watch pre preventing you from uh, uh, touching your face. Uh, it certainly beats my idea, the kind of cone that dogs wear to prevent themselves from licking after surgery. Yes. It's not a good look. <laughs> Prevents me from drinking my coffee after the show. <laughs> No, that's a really great piece. Yeah.